Well, hello, children and grandchildren. And if you have had some friends over, hello to your friends, too. We're going to have a good time this morning. What do you think is in this toolbox? Let's look and see. Let's say that you had written something on a piece of paper. Maybe you've drawn a picture of something on a piece of paper. Like this. It's just, it's just very nice paper. And you could draw a picture on there. Or you could write on there. Or something like that. Okay? How would you do this? And let's say, let's say you wanted to put it in a picture frame and maybe put it up on the wall because you had drawn a really pretty picture and you wanted to save it. So you have a picture frame and Grandpa has one here. Here's a picture frame. It's just a plain picture frame, okay? Now then, but you gotta put this piece of paper in this frame. How would you do that? How would you do that? Well, first of all, first of all, you can't change the frame, can you? No, because it's made. You went to the store and bought this frame like Grandpa did, and Grandpa put this, which was a certificate that he got many years ago, into the frame. But before Grandpa could put it into the frame, he had to make sure it fit, right? Yes, that makes sense, doesn't it? Yes. So, what you do is, you get your ruler and you measure you measure the frame with your ruler and it says that it's eight and a half and that's very typical most of these frames this size are eight and a half by eleven inches long and we have a ruler that measures eight and a half and lengthwise it is 11 inches long so you then take this piece of paper here and you measure eight and a half and you mark it. You put a mark there. And 11 inches this way. And you put a mark there. Then you get out your scissors. And you go, you take this. And you cut right down where the mark is. And down this side. Down this side where the mark is. And you take your frame and you put that there and it fits into the frame perfectly. And now you can store your picture 
in your picture frame. Like Grandpa did with, with this certificate he got many years ago. And you can hang it on your wall. If you'd like, you could just give it to me and I'll put it on my wall. Yes, I'll save it. Yes, because you are my grandchildren and you're right here, I hope. But if you're a long way away, maybe you have to put it in the mail. Have Mama or Dad put it in the mail and send it to Grandpa. Okay. Now, this is called a linear micrometer. And this is used for measuring very accurate distances. And this is a storage case so that it is always protected because it is a very, very accurate instrument very accurate. So how does it work? Grandpa will show you. Okay. Grandpa will show you. Let's say that you had to measure something Let's say, let's say you wanted to measure from here to here. How would you do that? This is just the tool that you would use. Here is a little wheel right here. And do you see what happens when I turn, when I turn the wheel? See how this goes out, out here? And it has two places, one up here and one down here that measures. This measures a big dimension, a big distance. This one, if it's, if it is something less than this, then this dial records what that distance is so that it is so accurate. It is very accurate down to a very small amount. So, if we wanted to measure this, we could put this in here and we could adjust this in until it just touches the edges. Okay, very good. And then we read on this side, we read what it says here plus what it says here. And that is the exact width of that. The exact width. Now, I could try this out on you, but we must be very careful because it has, it has really very sharp edges. So we have to be very careful. I would like to measure how thick is your thumb? How thick? Have you ever wondered? Well, how thick is my thumb? Well, we could measure it with this. Give me your hand, put your thumb out. Yes, right, here it is, right here. Then we take this and we go in, 
in. Hold your thumb down like this. Very good, very good. Now hold it very still. I don't want to pinch you. I don't want to pinch you. We'll go back in. Okay, now we read that it is three quarters of an inch plus point one zero. Now, we will record on here thumb. Width three quarters plus point one zero. That's exactly what your width of your thumb is. Now, it is time to put this away. We must be very careful because it is a very, it is a very good instrument and we must store it correctly. Now, here's an interesting little measuring device. Isn't it funny looking? Isn't it? This is something you might carry around in your pocket. And you could measure just this little distance here if you needed to measure it very accurately. But it also has an interesting thing. It has this little thing here that goes up. And what this does is it measures this angle from here and up here. See that? It has two different purposes. One to measure distance and the other to measure an angle. And there isn't much there isn't much uh, difference between measuring length of your nose with this and measuring the length of your nose with this. Except this is much more accurate. Oh. Just for fun, just for fun, Grandpa's going to measure your nose with this. All right, come in close. Okay, now we know that this is much more accurate than this was, okay? This measured your nose to be 1.2 six. Now we'll record this alongside the other one. Nose 1.26. 
Very good. Now then, there is another way to measure things. Here is a, here is a funny little thing, but it is, it's very useful, very useful. It has all of these things. All of these things on it. If you wanted to measure the distance between two things that were very close together, you would use one of these. And this is called a feeler gauge. A feeler gauge. And each one of these each one of these is a very small distance. And if you wanted to measure between two things that are very close together, you would simply push this in between the, between the two things until you got one that it just slid in so nicely. If you closed your mouth real tight, like this, what is the distance between your two teeth? Did anybody ever measure that on you? I'll bet your dentist did. If you went to the dentist, he might measure you. And he might, he might use one of these devices to measure that. So, if you would come up here real close, come up here real close, now, put, your, put your, your teeth together like this. Grandpa will see which one of these will slide between your teeth. Wouldn't that be... Do you think that would be interesting? Do you think that would be interesting? Let's try that out. All right. Oh, that won't go in there. This one here will not go in there. Won't slide in. Well, we'll go to one thinner than that. Let's try this one. Well, ah, it almost goes in, but Dad, Grandpa has to push really hard to get it to go. So let's go to one thinner than that, down to this one, the thinnest one here. Now, let's see this. Oh, oh, oh. It slides in very nicely. What distance is that? What do you think that is? Well, let's see if we can read it on here. It says on here, each one of these has a dimension. And it says that this is point Zero to zero. Let's record that. Teeth. Got that recorded. Isn't that an interesting tool to use? Isn't that interesting? And it all folds down and is stored in a little package, just like that. Now let's see. Do you know? Do you know? I think it's time for Grandpa to have a little sip of something to drink, okay? All right, maybe you'd like to get something to drink too. to be careful I don't spill it. Ah. ah, very good. Did you get something to drink too? Good, good. Okay.
You know, it has been a lot of fun doing this for my children and grandchildren or for friends of them. It's been, it's been a lot of fun doing this, and I hope you have enjoyed it. Uh, and that you remember it the best you can, uh, because in time, you will, you will find that you need to measure things and know how big things are or how little things are, and uh, maybe somebody else says to you, well, how big is that? And you will know, you will know that it can be measured and you can tell them then how big it is or how small it is, how wide it is, how narrow it is. Now, we have to do things in order. So let us pack up the toolbox and put it away. <laughs>